guys, it's Leah Miller with Miller Method. Today we're doing hips and core. So you will need one dumbbell, weighted for overhead, weighted dead bugs. You'll also need something like this tall, like when your knee is bent, your foot is on top of it. We're gonna work those hip flexors. You'll also need some deep breaths. We're gonna use those. We have a Tabata style workout today, so 20 seconds of work. 10 seconds of rest. We have five different circuits, so we have 10 different exercises. Go ahead and join me on the floor right here. Tabletop position, spread those fingers wide, tuck the toes, bring the knees up and drop. Knees up and drop. Did we just drop right into this workout? Yep. Knees up and drop. I think you might as well just get it over with, yeah? I didn't start my activity tracker should have. I want my intensity minute points. It's like a game. Time. All right. Now we're going to kick back into diamond frog pose. Touch those toes. Knees go wide. Hands are right up underneath the shoulders. Now rock back. Come forward. Yep. Perfect. Stretch right through those hip flexors. more. All right. Back to tabletop. Go ahead and put that belly button on the spine. Look at your hands. Are they underneath your shoulders? If they are, good. If we're tucking our toes right here, lift the knees up and drop. Up and drop. Up and drop. And engage that core. Bring it up. Hold it. Drop it. Up and drop. Perfect. Now, knees go wide one more time. Connect those toes behind you. Ready? You have three seconds. And rock it back and forth. Everybody asks me, time, why are we working hips and core together so much? Because the hips are a major part of the core. They're a major part of your body. Your hips are shortened. All right, go ahead. Bring it up and down. Up and down. I'll finish that sentence, I promise. Up and down. Up and hold. Down. Up, down. All right, wide through the knees, connect the toes. Lots of deep breaths, I told you you were gonna need them. Pull that core in, push the hips back, bring them forward. Back, and bring them forward. Back, and forward. Every moment, movement we do all day long goes through your hip flexors. You do not want them to be tight. You do not want them to be short. Because then every single thing you do with a lever is compromised, right? All right, go ahead and stack those knees under the hips, tuck the toes, bring the knees up and down. Oh, now they're trying to get in back here. Up and down. Perfect. No, Millie. Up and down. Five seconds left and down. Up. And then down. All right, go wide through the knees. You can start back here if you want. And sometimes this stuff doesn't feel good, right? Rock it forward and back. And probably it's not going to. You're gonna work the deep core. It's not gonna, it's not gonna feel good. Perfect, one more. Forward, okay. Now, we're moving on to our next circuit. So, roll the shoulders up, down and back, and I'm gonna explain to you what it is that we're about to do. Because we are going to go, we're gonna do two kind of, um, I wouldn't say intense, but I'd say in com complex things. That's it. So go ahead, plank position. We're gonna touch our left hand to our right foot. 
we're gonna come back to plank. We're going to side plank on that side, okay? So here we go. Left hand, right foot, diamond's head, side plank. All right, then we're gonna come up here. So set yourself up a separate circuit, a separate little area for this. We're gonna take a weight right over our head and with our right foot, okay? We're gonna come up and over, up and over. You ready? Okay, left hand, right foot. Plank position, left hand, right foot. Come forward, side plank. Excellent. Left to right, forward, side plank. Excellent. Here you go. You can get one more. And time. Perfect. Okay, listen, we're only doing left hand to right foot this whole time. We're not alternating. Wake up, bring the foot up and over. Yep. If you're a little unstable, that's okay. I am too. Aren't we all? But I mean, that's why we're doing this, yeah? All right. Back down. Now we're gonna start working up a sweat. This makes me sweaty. All right, plank position. Same hand and foot this time, okay? Left hand, right foot. You don't need a time it says every time. Excellent. All right, perfect. We're going up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm trying to save us from feeling like our wrists are gonna fall off. All right, up and over. So you're gonna want what you're stepping a little bit in front of you, obviously. Thanks for pointing out the obvious, Leah. You're great. <laughs> All right, put that down. Left hand, right foot. Yes? All right, let's go. Left hand, right foot. A little side plank action. Let's go, do it again. We like it. Fun time. I forgot to turn my own music on today. I have things in my head though that I can listen to. Ugh. One more. All right, listen, it's a shoulder workout too, right? So grab that weight, overhead, perfect. Gotta work those hip flexors. We wanna do all that we can to prevent injury, right? Why are my shoulders hurting? so badly already like I've never worked out before here we go left hand right foot nice little side plank that one wasn't that great on my part let's try that again there we go mm. all right here we go last one time Them up. Yep, this is fast paced. I think everybody expected from last week that it would be very calm. Tuesday is going to be real calm. Some of you are new here. I'm not that calm. Last week was a warning shot, right? Some of you said, mm hmm. All right, go ahead and put that down. Excellent work. Roll those shoulders. Woo wee. Now, if it hurts you, like it hurts me. Go ahead and take this hand, do like this. Put your wrist on your hip, pull from your elbow. Does that feel good? This feels good for me. All right, go ahead. Same thing. I like to be very dramatic about it. What's going on? I'm being very bunchy. Wait, did I 
I shove tissues down there? I don't remember. I mean, sometimes I do. I used to do that group fitness. It'd get real hot. Need something to wipe my face with. All right, guys, we're gonna do that again. We're just gonna do it on the other side. So keep everything set up for the next four minutes. We are now gonna do the other side. So now you are going right hand, left foot. Say it with me. Right hand, left foot. Perfect. All right. I know your wrists are probably hurting. It's gonna be okay. Pop it up into plank. Here we go. Right hand, left foot. Come to plank. You don't have to do this fast, right? Perfect. Come all the way into plank. Then side plank. Nice. Sometimes I get more competitive trying to do all the reps. It's not always about that. Time. Good job. Hi, Kiki. Hi, Kiki. You want to do hip flexors? Are your hip flexors? Oh, she's stretching. All right, up. Let's go. Flex that foot as you come over. Excellent. Oh, oh, no. You're not supposed to knock your thing over. Don't do it. Awesome. Five more seconds. Yep, I'm awkward on this side for sure. Time. I can feel my body going like it's trying to make up for stuff. So I have some muscle imbalances somewhere. We'll work on those though, right? Here we go. Let's do it. Nice plank. Solid. Excellent. supine flutter kicks and then we're doing plank and side leg reaches okay so but for this plank we're gonna come down on our forearms instead give our wrists a little bit of a break right it's weird it's obsessed with my roller bar though all right 
I'll go ahead and give those wrists a little bit of a shake here. I know that they probably don't feel that great, but your core will thank you for it. Right? Somebody asked me why we're focusing so much on the abs. We're not. We're working on the core, which is from here to here. All of this stuff. So that when your arms and your legs do like this, it can stabilize you, right? We need to be stable. All right, let's go supine flutter kicks, which looks like this. Forearms down, long through the legs. Let's go. Raise those feet. Flutter, flutter, flutter. Perfect. Get your kitty. She's going to rub you down. Five seconds. And time. Okay, now we're going plank on the forearms right here. I'm gonna drag this left leg out and touch and bring it back. Let's go. Drag it and drag it. Do one side only for this round. Now, obviously, if that way hurts, you're more than welcome to go back to doing it on your hands. If you don't need to break through your wrist. All right, let it go. My mic finally died for this. It's like, no, I'm not working anymore. See ya. And time. So, where was that? I think I made an investment in a really good one because I keep doing this. All right, foot out and back. If you're going hands down instead of forearms down, then go ahead and put those right under your shoulders. Letters out this time. I do like the little gym board down here. Nice. Let's go. Shows the cat hair very well. Hmm, Kiki. She likes leaving her mark. going to want to come up. Don't let it. Drag it back down. And time. All right. Last round of flutter kicks. Thank goodness. seconds two and one excellent now we're gonna have our break I know so we've been getting a whole minute in between sets for things I don't even know what's happened to me in my old age it's crazy all right we're gonna need to wait for this next round okay oh wait oh wait grab some water do a little mental leap around your mat, you know, 
we're gonna go just like this. Just like this. Right. Knees are gonna be stuck here with the hips. We're gonna extend one leg, arms are coming overhead. Back to the top. Extend the other leg, back to the top. Okay? Then we're gonna do those plank leg reaches on the other side. Okay? We like it? Grab your weight. Perfect. Nine seconds. I'm a different person with no music. All right. Let's go. Keep those knees over the hips. The weight is coming back right over the chest. Good job. Good job. I'm pumped. Time. I turn over. Going plank leg reaches on the other side. Give me a good plank right here. Foot out and back. So four arms or hands down. Your choice. I think a lot of this stuff depends too on how long the arms and legs are. In some positions they just look so beautiful and elegant on some people, and I'm like. Like that's it's time. That is not how I look. I do not look like that. I don't think I'm gonna look like that. That's okay. Wake up. Drop one leg. Bring it back up. Think about taking that belly button and putting it on the spine. Just lay it right on there. Hover that foot one inch above the ground. Bring it right back up. And time. Listen, if you need a modifier, you can always just drop the heel. Okay? You don't have to go all the way along with that leg. And plank. Go up. And back. Go up. And back. Listen, if you can't reach all the way out to the side with your foot, don't worry about it. Go over here. Go right here. Tap here. You know? We're not going to worry about it. I think they're doing sprints. Wake up. Nixon's obsessed with sprints now. He realizes that it makes him stronger and faster. And T-ball, when he practices sprints, the kid's smart. He's on to something, right? Maybe he'll be a conditioning coach. Up and over the top. 
Yep. Your triceps are gonna be hurting. You're welcome. There's lots of bonuses in this. Sneaky little workouts for all your other parts that I didn't tell you about. Excellent. Tomorrow, more full body. I'm pretty pumped about that. You know I love a good full body workout. And Thursday we'll do some more hamstring pull-up. And I hope you're excited about that too. But until then, have a good day. Bye.